Hey guys, it's Megan. It is Friday. It's Good Friday today. And I thought I would vlog today. I didn't think I would, but then all of a sudden I was like, I want to vlog. So the first thing I have to say, I don't know if you can tell in this lighting because I feel like it's always like really blue lighting when I film here. I don't know. But I'm wearing the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in number two vanilla and it's way too dark <laughs> for my chest so like my face is definitely like quite a bit darker than my neck so I filmed two videos today and I was like oh my god like I didn't realize that it was that much darker like how can shade two be this dark on me I'm so freaking pale but I love how it's looking I've had it on for like two and a half hours or so I've done a lot today already, um, which is awesome. And I am going to put on, this is the YSL Cherry My Cherie. It's like pretty much just the stain now. All the gloss is pretty much gone. So, oh my gosh, our internet was broken and Emily just started talking. I'm watching Emily Noel's, <laughs> her, um, <laughs> get ready with me. But I'm going to put on this gloss on top of it because I really, really thought this was pretty. It's the um, Gloss Volupt in Nude Carrot number 20. It doesn't say the like color name on here, so that's why I was looking over there. But I'm just going to try to prop you guys up and put this on because it's gorgeous. And as you can tell, the stain really stays. All that pink is just the stain from the Tintin Oil. It is amazing. And this smells like mango as well. I love it. I love it so much. So that is that. My battery is about to die on this camera, so I better charge it. But I've just been filming and editing this morning, which has been really, really productive and really good because I try to film as much as possible on the weekends. And I'm so inspired right now with all sorts of video ideas. So if you ever have requests, please let me know because I'm coming up with my ideas myself, but I'm also really inspired by the requests you guys send me. And I am all of a sudden really wanting to go to Target. So I might go to Target. I might convince Rachel to come with me. Rachel, if you want to go to Target, let me know. Um, <laughs> but we're going to see Love, Simon this afternoon. And then I'm going to make dinner tonight. So it's just going to be a day. I just looked at the weather for the next week. And why are there little snowflakes next week? Why? No, no, no. Okay, we're going to go to Target because I saw a um mirror that makeup by tiffany d showed on her instagram stories and i love it so much so i'm gonna try to find it but my outfit today i have on this blouse from ann taylor loft these are jeans that my aunt sue sent me they are really really nice they're by cut from the cloth which i think you buy at um nordstrom they're like semi-distressed um not super skinny um and then they're cuffed at the bottom and the dryer is finished then these shoes i thought i was gonna wear these but they're so annoying they squeak like every move i make they squeak and um these are my cole Haan. they're really cute but they're way too expensive for me to feel this way so i'm gonna return them um yeah so i'm just gonna put on my sam edelman loafers instead if I had space for planters, I would get this one. I love that. And this is cool too. I like to put multiple plants on. Or it says accent table. Huh. That's really nice. But no mirror yet. Yeah, golden marble is everything. I want this lamp. I have a lamp addiction. I have so many lamps. <laughs> Rachel's helping me scout out where it could possibly be. This is like art. What I should have done was looked it up online and said, is it in store? But of course I didn't do that. <laughs> We're trying out Core Life and they have like a way, like how to order because it's so confusing apparently. But it's kind of like Chipotle, but for salads and bowls. So this place is pretty cool. This is the, um, 
Southwest chicken salad rice bowl. So it was, there was so much stuff in it. They had to put it in a bigger bowl. Then I got ranch on the side and cilantro lime on the side. And I probably paid like way too much money for these on the side. I have no idea. I have no idea if this bread was free or not. No, there was no receipt. Rachel, show yours. This is the Cobb salad, Cobb chicken salad. And she got these little uh, Parmesan crisps on top. Looks amazing. We're trying the beef lemonade. They, they only have lemonades and teas. And then they have free water cups. But this looks amazing. I swear this is probably extra money. But I have no idea. <laughs> I'll give this place a 10 out of 10. What do you say, Rachel? Very good. And I love, you can see them, they like put a whole half of an avocado in your salad and they have these cool scoopers that we need that cut it up as you're scooping it. That's amazing. And they have like all fresh ve vegetables and um, Rachel got a deviled egg on hers and they like cut it fresh. You can see them cooking the meat. It's like really 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 good and i did the math and i don't think they charge for the extra dressing or the bread <laughs> and the bread was good we don't know because we don't have a receipt but rachel tried this beet lemonade and i can tell the beet flavor because i really hate beets but the lemonade flavor is good and she can't tell because she doesn't have beet experience <laughs> but for two salads it was twenty dollars which is pretty expensive, and a drink. But it was very good, and that's my leftovers. <laughs> I pretty much ate it all. They also have freshly brewed iced coffee at the, like, serve it yourself, and it's very, very, very good. I added some half and half, and a little bit of the pure sugar, and it's bomb. We're going to see Love, Simon. Just me and Rach. Yay! <laughs> and I have my contraband water bottles. <laughs> They have like this giant sign that says no outside food or drink. I brought in burritos, um, Wendy's, always water bottles, usually candy, but that's not, that's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know how the movie is. That's so good, you guys. I was surprised I didn't cry. I thought I would. Like, I teared up. I teared up my eyes. I was full on, like, bawling my eyes out. Okay, but it was amazing. It was like funny and good music. Oh my gosh, it's like a tornado. Um, like I was freaking out every time they showed a guy on screen. Yeah, Just I was like, like it's him. I'm so glad <laughs> who it ended up being. I won't have any spoilers, but you should definitely see it. Like, it was packed and everyone clapped at the end, which you never see happen. So go see Love Simon. I'm about to start cooking dinner, but I, of course, change into my PJs, and I wanted to tell you guys I'm really liking this Bare Minerals Complexion Foundation, and it's very, very glowy, which I like. Maybe a little powder through the T-zone would be nice, but I honestly really, really like how it looks, and definitely if you have normal to dry skin, I think this would be a really great option for you if you like lighter coverage. I would definitely have to get the lighter shade since this number two vanilla is definitely too dark for my skin tone, but I just really like how it looks. So I wanted to update you guys on that. This is the meal I'm making tonight. It's the Home Chef brown sugar salmon with ranch mashed potatoes and green beans. And I'll link the recipe down below for you guys. So it came with four potatoes, two giant bags of green beans. They send way too many green beans. I only ever use one bag. Um, Dijon mustard, ranch seasoning, brown sugar, sour cream, and then these are the salmon fillets. So um, it's pretty easy just making the mashed potatoes, searing the salmon, roasting the salmon, and cooking the green beans. Dinner is coming along nicely. This is the Dijon mustard. Um, and brown sugar. I added a little pepper to taste. Then I have the salmon fillets under here getting crisp, and then we'll roast them with the glaze. I have the potatoes going. I have the green beans in here, and I wanted to show you guys this is the mirror I was looking for today at Target. I love it so much, but it says unavailable to ship, unavailable in the store, and it's like only available like I don't even know where like 20 miles from here or like more 
So I'm really disappointed, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this. So sometimes when you try a new product, you immediately regret it. That's what happened when I tried this. Oh my God, my face hurts so bad. It's the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Intensive Peel, Resurface, Smooth, and Brighten. So this was a deluxe size that came with that really awesome set with the facial radiance pads and then multiple other products during the 21 days of beauty. I got it for $22. I bought it only for the facial radiance pads because that is an amazing deal on them. And then the other stuff was just like a bonus and I'm pretty much passing it all along. Other than the face cleanser minis, I love those. So I decided to use this product because right where my glasses like sit on my nose, I get like congested pores and sometimes like right now it's like right here. I guess it's not even where my glasses sit, but it's like a little bit further down is like this pimple that's not coming to the surface, but it hurts. So I was like, I'm going to use this on um, my nose and try to like help that gunk come to the surface. So it says ap apply liberally to clean dry skin. So I clean my skin as normal. Leave on one to five minutes as tolerated. Okay, that should have been a sign. Rinse with warm water. Use once or twice weekly. Well, I'm never fucking using this again because it doesn't look like my face is irritated, but I applied it just like my nose, like barely on my cheeks, like barely. That's probably where I wiped it off was my cheeks. My nose and my cheeks are on fire the, and I had it on for like maybe a minute and a half at most two minutes and it says it has lactic acid. That's like one of the first five ingredients, a lot of like extracts and stuff. Holy shit, my face is burning to death. And it's just like a kind of clay, like a creamy clay looking um, product. And I don't know what this has done to my skin, but my skin is screaming at me right now. So I tried to put on a lot of moisturizer, but it's still like really, really irritated feeling. Like just my glasses touching my cheeks, like is hurting it. Uh, I can't really stretch my face because that like burns. So I'm never going to use that again. And that is like some serious potent stuff. If you leave it on for one minute and it like burns your skin that bad, like that's insane. That's really, really, really insane. So hell's to the no about that. <laughs> But dinner was really good. I've been watching YouTube videos and just chilling, which has been nice. I wanted to go to Rita's, but now it's like 8.30. I wanted to go to my favorite ice cream place, but it's like 30 minutes away. And again, it's like 8.30. So I don't know what I'll do, but maybe I'll just stay home and do nothing. I'm already in my PJs, but <laughs> sometimes you just want ice cream. Okay, so I put the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, which also came in that set on the areas that were like burning my face off. It felt like lava. This soothed it immediately. So I feel like they want you to buy both products. <laughs> You're gonna burn your face off with the peel and then buy this and you'll be soothed. But honestly, I was really surprised by how quickly this soothed my skin. So I think I mentioned to you guys that the Ultra Repair Cream, the normal one, I used on my face years ago one time and it gave me the worst breakouts. Um, so I was really hesitant to try this, but um, it really soothed my skin, which is awesome. And sometimes I freaking hate the things that remind me of my past relationship. I was just watching Mindy's Instagram stories and I've been loving Mindy Kaling, who I am obsessed with. Um, she just started doing them on a regular basis and she was showing that she bought these J. Crew socks and in the background of her snap or Instagram story, was a song that me and Michael used to always listen to and it was Love by Kendrick Lamar. It is one of my favorite songs like ever. And I was just like, God, 
freaking damn it, Mindy. Like, why'd you have to have that song? I've been doing so good. Now I'm all upset. Um, but it's okay. Shit like this happens. It hasn't been that long. I'm gonna be upset. But overall, I'm doing really awesome with just feeling okay about everything. But that song is amazing. If you've never heard it, go listen to Love by Kendrick Lamar. And I'm glad my face isn't burning off anymore. <laughs> I was gonna go ask my sister if she wanted to watch 90210. She's asleep. She's like dead asleep. It's nine o'clock. My parents are not here. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What do I wanna do? I don't know. I've been editing like all day. Whenever we were home, I was editing and doing description boxes and I don't wanna do that anymore. I wanna just do something. Maybe I'll watch a movie. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. It's nine o'clock on a Friday. And I have nothing to do. But I'll find something to do. I will find something! In addition to Love, Simon being really great, they had a preview for the movie 8th Grade, which I heard about when I, I'm really into film festivals. So I, um, on the Letterboxd app, I like was reading all about the ones that were at Sundance. And so a lot of these on my watch list were like nominated or people really enjoyed them. But Eighth Grade is a really, really cool movie that um, Bo Burnham, who you might remember from a few, quite a few years ago, he was really, really famous on YouTube doing com comedy, like comedian sketches, whatever. I always really, really enjoyed his humor, and he wrote and produced this movie, and it's not a documentary, but it really seems so realistic. It's about a girl in eighth grade. She's actually the age of an eighth grader. All the characters are actually, like, middle school age. It's, like, showing how growing up in this age of technology is so different than anything else and it just looks so good and so real and I was so excited that AMC was showing this preview because I was figuring that it would have like a limited release at like small theaters but if AMC is showing it before Love, Simon which is like a really big deal of a movie to have a movie about coming out as gay and for this to be before that movie I was just so excited and it made me even more look forward to eighth grade coming out because I feel like we need these types of movies when if I saw Love, Simon when I was younger I think that would have been such an even more impactful movie to me than it was even today. Like, it was amazing today, but just thinking about what if I saw it when I was in high school or something, it, it just is so cool to see these different perspectives and stuff being presented in films. And I think Eighth Grade is going to be a really, really important film that young people, uh, hopefully around the world, get to see. And showing them that it's, it's so weird to me, like, being an adult now that, like, technology is everywhere, you can't escape it, and there's all this, like, comparison and constantly seeing what other people are doing all the time, and like, it's hard to just be happy with what you have and not want more and more and more, and, like, there's definitely that element of showing off, like, this is what I've been doing, this is what I have, this is how good I look, or whatever, and I can't imagine being a child or a young teenager, preteen, during this time of such an influx and a constant reminder of other how other people are like when I went home after school like yeah I had AIM instant messenger but I wasn't like seeing oh this is what people like around the world like teenagers look like in like fashion blogs and stuff like it was such a different time even just like a decade ago and I'm just really excited to see this movie. So if you haven't heard of 8th Grade, the new movie coming out, definitely look up the preview. If you have children of that age, I think it will be a really, really excellent movie to take them to see. And a very important film that I'm very happy was made. So I'm such a film geek and I really, really love 
movies in general, but especially ones that are portraying real life. That's why I think I really love The Florida Project, because it was hard to watch at times and hard to just like admit this is some people's reality, but those types of stories need to be told and need to be shown and you need to realize that your world is not everyone else's and to be appreciative of everything you have. So The Florida Project is another movie I really recommend and I'm trying to figure out a movie to watch tonight. That's why I was looking at my watch list. So I'm gonna watch the episode of Riverdale from this week that I'm always behind on this show, but I really love it. So I'm gonna watch this episode and then probably head to bed, maybe play some Best Fiends on my phone, which I always love to do. Um, but today was a really nice day and it was nice to have an additional day off of work. And then this weekend is just gonna be a lot of family time, which is always really important and special to me. So thanks you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I'll see you soon. Bye.